What's up team? So today we're going to be talking about understanding progress and what usually happens when you partake or undertake your fitness journey and you strive to create a body transformation. We obviously want to achieve the most amount of progress that we possibly can but what usually happens is people tend to focus a lot on what the scale says and use that as their only means of tracking progress. So today we're going to talk about four different ways that you can track progress and understand what each of these ways mean. Um, and as you can see, not one of them is looking at the physical weight that you see or the number that you see on the scale. So number one will be body composition changes. That basically means that your body composition, which is uh, your ratio of lean muscle to body fat, will definitely change throughout your fitness journey. And that doesn't necessarily mean that the number on the scale will change, but the way that you look and see yourself in the mirror will change. You might be uh, building more muscle or attaining more lean muscle and dropping body fat at the same time, which means that the net uh, difference in weight won't really budge because you are picking up muscle, but you are losing fat. So you won't necessarily be losing weight as such, but you will be looking and feeling much better when you look at yourself in the mirrors. Number two will be seeing how your clothes fit you. So obviously as you are progressing and there's also goes hand in hand with the number one when your body composition changes your clothes will usually start to fit better feel better you'll you'll start to feel better in a pair of jeans that you might have not been able to wear for the past couple of months and with the number on the scale still being irrelevant and maybe staying the same your clothes might be fitting better and feeling better which will lead to you being much more confident and just feel better overall and number three would be enhanced mood and energy so if we're not looking at number one and number two and let's say these two along with the scale weight is going a bit slow, the progress is a bit stale. Having an enhanced mood and more energy throughout the day can also be a great way to see if you are making progress or not because progress isn't just always physical, it must also be mental because if you are down all the time and you just had a bit of struggles with, with regards to your mood and being in a good mood and being low on energy, if somehow throughout your fitness journey that progresses and your mood increases or, or you're, you, you're in a better mood more often and you have more energy throughout the day when you go to work or when you do normal daily tasks, that in itself is a big win as well. So don't forget to look at that as well when tracking your progress. And then last but not least, we have an increase in strength and performance in the gym. So when you are going through your fitness journey, the goal is obviously to make progress but to progress in the gym as well, which is progressive overload, which we have touched on. And then if you are able to lift heavier weights or do a certain weight for more reps, run faster, run longer, you are stronger than you were a couple of months ago, that should also not be overlooked because that in itself is also a very good form of making progress and being sure that you are on track to reach your goals. Because all of these things come together, which in turn will basically give you the ultimate body transformation that you are after. So when you are looking to see whether you're progressing or not, don't, don't just look at the scale. Remember these four factors and keep them in mind. And if you understand this, then you'll be understanding if you are making good progress and are on track to your body transformation.